recording. Go ahead and turn off Mr. Pay the Rise. Sorry about that, Mr. Pay the Rise. And we're just waiting on the Twitch, so cheers, everybody. Actually, while we're waiting, I'm going to make sure I have enough inventory space. 44 out of 80? That should be enough for a version of Date Night. And there's the Twitch. So hello, everyone. It is... Wednesday, I had to think about that. Wednesday, May 10th, 2017. I'm Dentral, that's Cyndaquil. We're still playing Final Fantasy XI online. All right, so last night we were doing the Ambuscade, and how did that end? It did pretty good. I mean, we had already gotten all the points we needed the previous weekend, so it was all just bonus. Got a couple, hun couple hundred more Alexandrites-ish, which will get us a little bit closer to uh, finishing our Mythic. But, um, today, we got a new version update. And this is the 15th, they call it Vaniversary. So there's going to be a bunch of stuff to go over. We'll just go ahead and hop right on into it. Um, I'm going to try just a little bit different this month. And we'll, uh, just basically take it from here on the uh, Final Fantasy XI main page. Playonline.com, this is where I'm getting all this stuff from. Um, you got the login campaign, you got the version update. On the 16th, they're going to have an event that I don't think they have titled yet. And <laughs> they're still trying to work something out. The, the, the event features crab themed goods and a variety of other items as rewards. Full name of the event has not been decided upon. That starts uh, next week on the 16th. Mog Bonanza, 15th anniversary Mog Bonanza. This is coming soon. Uh, we're going to be able to purchase our marbles <laughs> May 16th through June 16th, so they're going to give us 30 days. Don't wait till the last minute. Um, announcing May 27th, login campaign. That has already started. Points allocation period, Wednesday, May 10th at 8 a.m. That was this morning. And it goes on until Friday, June 2nd at 7 a.m. Don't wait till June so I can get it finished June 1st. Um, actually, no, that's point allocation, so you should be able to actually pick them up longer than that. Anyways, uh, the May update. And here's the 15th anniversary adventure appreciation campaign. That's actually not live yet. That'll be coming on uh, later tonight. Probably about another seven hours, I would think. So... We'll just go ahead and hop into the... Uh, well, since we're talking about that, let's do the 15th Vaniversary Adventure Appreciation Campaign. We're just going to go over it real fast. Uh, campaign period. It starts tomorrow, May 11th, at 1 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And it's going to go until Wednesday, May 31st, 7.59 a.m. So pretty much till the end of the month. Uh, chain Experience Bonus Campaign. Earn from double to three times the normal amount of experience from experience chains. Chain Capacity Point Bonus Campaign. Earn from double to three times the normal amount of capacity points from the experience sheets. This is big. You don't have 100 job points yet on a particular job? This would be a good time to get them. Uh, chain Monstrosity Bonus Campaign. Earn from double to three times the normal amount of experience from experience chains. If you're in a monstrosity but you don't like the grind, this would be a good month to get it. Uh, increased seal and crest drop rate campaign. The rate at which seals and crest are dropped is increased based on the number of members in a party up to a maximum of six seals. I think, hey Miss Kitty, I think they're doing this pretty much every month now. I might be wrong, but it certainly seems like they're doing this every month now. I'm not complaining. All right, Mug Garden campaign. So we're in the Mug Garden right now. Uh, Mog Gardens will undergo the following modifications throughout the duration. The number of Shining Stars received when entering a Mog Garden will be doubled since they get more than get to. The Coastal Fishing Net will provide different special items. That's neat. It is at knees. Yo. Happy Wednesday. Uh, items may be harvested from Monster Rearing twice per day. I haven't gotten that high in Monster Rearing, so I can't comment on that. That might be neat. Um, the following items will be sold in the garden, especially through the duration. Golden Seed Pouch, Chestnut Tree Sap, Monarch Beetle Saliva, Bronze Bed, Mahogany Bed, Noodle's Bed, and the Goblin's 280. Okay, if I remember correctly, probably, 
don't. The goblins do 880. Say you haven't finished your gubby bag, um, what do you call it? Uh, expansion. Getting it up to max 80 stops things. Maybe you're on a server that nobody else plays on. And, uh, you don't know how to craft the stuff that you need. Then you can buy the goblin stew, and I think you can trade that over instead of the four crafting items. And, uh, they'll let you do that. Bronze bed, mahogany bed, noble's bed. I probably end up picking up the noble's bed for Syndicate. I thought she had it. She doesn't. She has a royal... She has two royal beds. And it's not the same thing. <laughs> um... Bronze bed you need for your first mug safe expansion. Mahogany bed, second safe, and I think the noble beds for the third expansion. H. Gillian! Happy Wednesday. Alright, we got another Wildskeeper's Reeve campaign. During this campaign, Wildskeeper Reeves will undergo the following changes to make them more accessible. You'd think they would just do this all the time. The required fame and bailed cost of the key item required to participate have been reduced. Yay. Enemies will drop two pinches. Of high purity bill. Yay. Enemies will drop mug coupon A W W K W K being for the Wildskeeper. The new Ambuscade normal monster whale isn't that easy. Well that's kinda good. Mob has a huge amount of hit points. Tense seems easier. <laughs> but the Antikins don't the Antikins normally like silence they have like a silence AoE? Hmm. I don't remember. It's been a while. The respawn times for the following notorious monsters have been reduced. Kolkha, Tchaka, Pachuka, Rumkax, Furkan, and Kumhau. I'm sure I mispronounced those. Please let me know if I did. I'm stuck in castles of old trying to find the mobs that drop the coffer key. Oh, I can show that. That's actually really easy. Let me finish this part, though. Uh, Alter Ego Expo. Alter Egos will receive the following improvement for the duration of the campaign. Alter Egos maximum HP and MP are increased by 50%. Alter Egos have stronger resistance to status ailments. So yay. One Quetzi too. Oh, shoot. Just gonna have to take a break right here. Uh, go over here. Turn off that display capture. Be right back. Well, no, actually, I'll just go ahead and uh, stream it. Search all etnies. It's actually real easy. I spelled your name. Actually, you're probably on a different name. Send Cyndaquil a party invite. Uh, hop right on over there. Try to remember which would be the fastest way over. Probably the home from So let us... Once I can. Jamming wave, that's the AoE. That's it. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem like uh, my M Choo Choo ever wants to stand outside of uh, AoE range. Ooh, loot gardens, there's a little home point here. Sprint Heart. Alright. I think I can find that. It's going to ask if I want to save my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, no. Alright. Search. All is P R I N T H A R T. There you is. Of all keep. I'm gonna toss you an invite. Mm, yeah, you already got your alter egos up. Slash. Cheer. We should do this on Thief. It'll take just a second. It's real simple, actually. Um, once you understand it. If you got the map, it's even easier. Teleportation assistance. We're going to do regional release areas. I am looking for Castles of all Baileys. That's it. I'm going to do using tabs. Archangel Taru Trust seems pretty useless. <laughs> no. Oh, so sad. <laughs> but... Tell Link Hero of Time. Yo. Because I can't type it in Link Shell Chat right now. Low damage output. He loves to spam sleep. And then he uses poison slash bio after. Hopefully not the Yagas. I'm like, why sleep ga? Then do poison slash bio after. That's so not useful. Bum, bum, bum. Version update stuffs. Bum, bum, bum. 
All right, I'm gonna do a search all again. Actually, we'll just search this area. I'm the only in here. Search all spirit. Search all spirit. You were there a second ago. Search all spirit. I'm remembering it differently, isn't it? Sprint. That's it. <laughs> Search all spirit. There you are. So I didn't get you an invite yet. Just tell. Yo. Gonna have to drop the trust. Or send me an invite. That way I'll never find you otherwise. Archangel humans left, yes. Seems Archangel Golka is the best out of the bunch so far. I'll agree with that. Um slash join the uh mithra she's not terra bad but she's you know you only got like five trust npcs you can have out at one time i know square enix will eventually give us the ability to summon 17 so we can do our own whole you know alliance that would be so awesome but uh <laughs> <laughs> All right, first thing. MT slash P. First thing. You remember how to get back to Zavol Bailey's? That's where the key's at. Coffers and keys are if I remember correctly. Cool. If I remember correctly. It's actually been a while. EV is a pretty good tank for lung fights. Yeah, she just doesn't use Volk. And I, I know it's like you don't need Provoke to be able to uh, hold hate. And I'm like, yeah, certainly helps. But <laughs> Sin, get the flame tongue for your luck style. <laughs> yeah, that was on the plan. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Your cooldown on flash is very low. Ah, uh, okay. Bum bum bum. This way. Map. Markers. It has been a while. I don't think too long though. We'll say she holds hate off me. No, okay. That's actually saying something, cause. That ain't the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure it's the ones that point towards the center. So... Take this. I might be wrong. I sometimes am. But you know how they got four of them here? And... See, I'm pointing at the camera thinking y'all can see what I see. You might be able to. The coffers are going to be like towards the center, maybe. Or they're going to be on the other outside. So I'm just going to hop on down. I actually know it. There's an airman down there. Let's go over here. And it's definitely one of these. There's like three levels. One, two, and three. And you can actually kind of see the uh, dealy wops, But... <laughs> I think this is it. Actually, I really think it's the second one, but we'll find out real fast. It doesn't take too long to run back up. You saw nothing, Mr. Airman. Nothing at all. Okay, he saw me. So, Archdemon, I believe. These are all guys that can drop the copper key. Typically, the coffers are also going to be in these rooms, usually around the corners. They're casting spells, so they'll, uh, you know, run out. Possible hate reset. Bismarck has... Oh, oh, oh. Get my... Always had trouble holding hate off me when I was fighting the whale ambuscade mob. Kept getting targeted. If we can summon 17 trust NPCs, I would assume the game is going down. <laughs> Yeah. 
So anyway, aim for the uh, top level. That seems to work well. Uh-oh. They're all coming after me now. That's something I haven't done yet. Link all the mobs in Castles of All. Wouldn't that be cool? I wonder if they're going to follow me when I drop down. They might. No, don't absorb my TP. I might need that. Alright. Like your health. <laughs> it reminds me of my own. Dirty Third Coast? What day is it? It's Wednesday. I think it is. In that case, happy Wednesday. So we're going to run over here. I'm going to start killing stuff. Don't die, Sprint. Didn't know you could drop down. Yeah. This comes in handy. Actually, I don't know if they're going to follow. Oh, yeah, they followed. All right. Two of them did. Three of them did. I'm going to go ahead and put on my treasure hunter hat. If I still have it. There it is. White rab cap. Right, we got a wine cellar key. <laughs> totally not what we were looking for. <laughs> um, circle blade. Piss them all off. All right, try this again. Yeah, but I don't think the uh, plus one's going to help too much with a coffer key, but... Next. It's okay, if you do pass away, I can cast Rez. I'm animation locked. There we go. Let's get on this side of the bad guys. There we go. What you doing in the game? Well, I was going to be going over all the update notes, and I will continue that here momentarily. Just wanted to help a viewer on Quetzi. Um, show them where all the coffers were in Castles of All, because it's kind of one of the more difficult places to actually try to explain where you have to drop down and all that fun stuff. I should also be using Sneaking and Biz. Bring Sneaking and Biz when you come here. And you can see where you drop. That's fine, I'll be able to run back up here in just a moment after I kill these things. Let's see where you're at. Map. Oh. Uh, we're not going to be on the same map anymore. Because I fell down. Really, Demon Chancellor? I should have pulled out a Shantoto. I'll do that next time. I'm going to admit, my... I'm not impressed with TH1. Remember in Castle of Stroja back in the day, people used to go to the top floor, then aggro a mob on the lower floor. So it drained the entire zone. <laughs> it would lag the area so bad when people camped the notorious monsters. Now they just did it for giggles, right? Yeah, of course they did. Here. Uh, bum bum. Bum bum. I got this. Bum bum bum. Alright, so now we got DPS. So it's going to be in one of these four rooms, the actual coffer. Unfortunately, it doesn't show up on white scan. I don't know why they don't have it showing up on white scan, but... Okay, so it's not in this room either. This way! Need more treasure hunter? <laughs> Probably. Speaking of which, though, second thought, yeah. Actually, do you have the copper key yet? Otherwise, you know, we might be here all night. Living there equals Lenos, that is correct! He's on Thief. This treasure hunter is probably much better than mine. 
as I say that. Watch as I bleed out. Get your luck. This is me, not knowing how to use the spacebar correctly. I wonder how good this is going to be. I, I, I doubt... I mean, these are copper-dropping mobs, so... Shouldn't be able to... Okay, you can one-shot an Astral Demon with a Holy Two on Paladin. <laughs> good to know. And I bet... Yeah, because of my macros, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end up... Swapping stuff out. I was playing FF11 earlier. Update didn't seem to have No, it's not a it's not a big update. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna move this into full screen mode so I don't have to keep going left and right. There we go. Much better. Seems they gave away some more bonuses for Ambuscade. I haven't seen the superior three piece yet. That might be spoilers. You get another objective, which gives you another triple point seal. Oh, that's right, the weekly! Yay, shell busters. They're actually pretty cool if you can, like, dual world. You get another objective, which gives you another triple point seal. I don't remember it being there last month. Uh, I don't think it was there last month. When I was looking at it, I'll go over more in detail. Um, bum, bum, bum. Spectral jig. If you can. Get on for all this stuff, ain't it? Oh, that's not treasure, that's trust. Pass. Actually, I want the snow jig. I don't want to cast on that. Not so much into that one, though. I wonder if they'll aggro me if I hop down here. Boom, boom. I got three plus two pieces. Hmm. Maybe the average three or four cards a run. Oh, seem to average. That's actually not so bad. I remember we would be sometimes lucky to get a single card after three or four runs. But honestly, I I I, I haven't done too much with Ambush Gate since they allowed you to take an alliance in there. I'm go like, oh, it's just gonna be uh too easy now, but not really. Just haven't been in. Here it comes. You have to be on point with the objective. Yeah, I think so. You mean Omen? Of course I do. Of course. Bump, bump, bump. We're gonna run up here. So I've already checked these two. Let's go check the ones on the far end. Hopefully he'll let me know when the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, the wine cellar key was lost. So sad. Saw the new armor set. There's a new armor set? I haven't seen that. The Paladin Dark Warrior set seems really strong. This is good, because we really need a really strong set. Tons of minus damage taken. This from Omen? Well, he'll say. Like, have to wait for the uh, latency to get back, though. Based off the other ones, I think it's going to be this one. I can't see it, though. Actually, no, it's going to be that top one over here. Let's go over here. I think it's superior three armor. Oh, okay. But is it craftable? Probably is. No can't tell. Is that on the top floor, or is this on the top floor? I'm all confused. Here, we'll just take a look here. Alright, that is the second floor over there. This is the top floor. Okay, you're a rat. So I'm gonna hop down here. Take a look-see. Make sure... okay. Hi, Araman. Ability, weapon skill. Nice of the round.
no copper. Or no copper key. Probably no copper as well. Running out of rooms. Wait, what did he say? I've had that key for like an hour now. Oh, okay. So we actually don't need to be killing these guys. <laughs> Cure four for this dude. Good. And we just need to find the cover. Let's see. Which may be why the key's not dropping, but. Not in here. There will either be in the next room or four other rooms to try as I run into the wall. Oops. Try to wait for him. Wait a second, what did he say? We're out of rooms. I've had that key for like it. Oh, 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 oh. Thought you meant. The copper key. This is dead. Reading what he wants to read, not necessarily what was actually typed. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Could be on cooldown. Could be. Look at a witch. Trying to check him. Do you have a link show yet? Doesn't look like he does. Nope. I'm gonna really give me. <laughs> Most people never own shit. <laughs> Let's see here. That way we can actually see the stuff that Lonis is typing, as opposed to waiting. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a pearl. And we're going to give it to him even if you don't want it. Looking for the trade buttons in all the wrong places. There we go. I just need to wait for him to accept the trade. See if he's got the inventory space. He's on Thief, so there is a distinct possibility he doesn't. Ten percent. That should last him a little while. Walking around cash is what I like to call it. Whee. And now I'm going to not wait for him to uh, equip the pearl. <laughs> Actually, I, I always get this part confused. Do I go that way or this way? I think I go this way. It's been a while. He's just trying to sell off his shell. <laughs> Could be. Everybody. Which is basically me and Linus. Say hi to... That way I don't misspell it. Alright, so where am I now? Map. Okay, so I need to go to the east. Lanos was... Oh, I forgot. Linked Hero of Time is in here. Lanos was saying earlier that the coffers are on in our cooldown. So maybe somebody opened one earlier. That's the second one. Can't tell if this is the top one or not. Angle the camera around here. That's definitely not that one. There it is. 
Or I could just be sending them in the wrong place. I've done that before. I always thought I had this one pretty much taken care of. We'll find out. Maybe over here. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Actually, no. Just aggro everything. Aggro. Thank you. Just trying to see if they got a coffer in here. Oh man. I done got stunned. <laughs> Any time today, thank you. Run over here. And then we'll start just killing stuff, see if we can get a coffer thing to drop. So it's kinda like in one of these drop down rooms. Get the map. I don't know what you did. <laughs> Magic. I think I have rays. There we go. Rays. The end of the world. Aggro mode, but oh well. <laughs> Anyhow, the trust you're fine. Let's get a cure for it just in case I get like an AoE spell going. Better. This zone. Because if he does, it's going to be a lot easier. Yes, awesome. See how we're in the corner room? We have already checked, excuse me, all the outer corner rooms. Uh, that's a notorious monster, that's why he's saw him. Okay. I didn't even notice that. I believe they can also be in the inner Rooms, which may be the other drop downs, second level ish. But with trust in VCs, we're good. Astrolab! But I gotta get back to work. Work if you're still stuck. Burning keys and stuffs. Come back after help with that. With my thief. Yeah. More magic. Tech five. Thanks for showing me slash killing me. <laughs> Any time. All right, I'm gonna warp on out of here, and then I'm gonna do party. I'm gonna do disband. Get your trust. There he goes. He's good. He's good. All right. What did I miss? Okay, thief got a regen set. Yay! Regen and regain even better. Monster llama. Welcome back. Anyway, welcome back to Benadiel campaign chatter from SE lately. No, not that I've seen. And we're going to get back to that now. Um, click in here. We're going to close this out. We're going to go back to OBS. Sorry about that. Well, no, I'm not sorry about that. We, uh, I wanted to uh, help somebody out with old game stuff. 
the best way I know how, and that's by uh, making sure they get themselves killed. All right, so we talked about Mog Gardens, we talked about Wild Skipper Reeves, Alter Ego Expo. They're stronger, more durable. Good time to use them, um, especially during the um, Wild Skipper Reeves. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. You might be able to tackle some higher tier mission battlefields with. Ooh, because the next one's called the High Tier Mission Battlefield Campaign. The number of personal drops in the following battlefields will be increased by one. Then players will receive either a Pluton, a Pluton case, a Pluton box, a chunk of Bietsu, a Bietsu case, even a Bietsu box, Riftborn boulders, boulder case, or a boulder box. So Archangels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Return to Delphicut's Tower. I hate that one. Um, the Celestial Nexus, not as bad. The Savage, that one's okay. Warrior's Path I like. Puppet in Peril, nah. I mean, Puppet, it's okay, it's okay. Legacy of the Lost, Psst. rank 5 mission, that's against uh, the Shadow Lord, he's good. Headwind, one to be feared. <laughs> uh, Dawn, Dawn would be fun. Penticide, Perpetrator, I don't know that one. Trial by Fire, Ice, Wind, Earth, Lightning, Water, those are the... Uh, Prime Avatar fights. Those actually be good ones, especially now that I think about it. The one against Garuda, I think, with the Tiger? That might work out quite well. Moonlit Path. Is that Carby? I don't know. Waking the Beast and Waking Dreams. One of those is Carby. The other is the fight against Fenrir. And I guess the last one would be uh, Diabolos. And I wouldn't want to fight Diabolos on a high tier mission battlefield. I think that's just. Ooh. All right, this starts tomorrow. Wanted Dial Campaign. A new dial, the Wanted Dial, will be added to the Gobby Mystery Box. This fresh edition can be spun once per day to receive one of the treasure coffers that drop from Wanted Battle content. Additionally, the odds of the special dial yielding equipment will be boosted for the duration. Spinning the Wanted Dial does not cost any daily tally. Yay, 45 days. Must have passed. You can't do it like a brand new character is what they're saying. Microcosmic Orb Campaign. Vanquishing certain monsters in the following battlefields will occasionally reward players with job cards and a variety of other items. Shimo and Port Juno H8 will trade Crest at a rate of 2 to 1. Oh, so it's usually 3 to 1. So this is a bonus. Alright. This is just basically saying what the orb is, macrocosmic orb. That's it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Tells you where the battlefield is. Sacrificial chamber, throne room, quiet by arena, chamber of oracles, Bar's Peak, Wall Room Shrine, Bogazias. This says the name of the battlefields, entry conditions, and the applicable monsters. But it doesn't say what the drops are. If this is like the last one though, when it says here reward players with job cards, I think it's random job cards. Which, if you have all jobs at 99 and you have all your artifact armor for all your jobs at 99 to 119, then it's not the end of the world. But, I don't know. I wish they'd let us have better control over that, but that's just me, I'm sure. Following campaigns will level up during the following periods in appreciation of your support of Benadiel. Oh, alright. Campaign barrier Tuesday, May 16th to Monday, May 29th at the same hour. Chain experience bonus campaign plus. Earn from double to three times. Capacity point, double to three times. Not only that, but the maximum benefit of commitment fr from items will be doubled during the campaign. So that's your um, Trizek rings and your Echad rings. I think even the uh, experience point bonus rings that you get from the gate guards will be increased as well. Chain Monstrosity Bonus Campaign Plus. I don't get this. The following campaigns will level up during the following periods in appreciation of your support to Vanity. But... Oh, maybe it's just between May 16th through May 29th. Mm -hmm. Busy a campaign. During the campaign, the default light values of pearlescent azure, golden, and silver ores will be drastically increased. In addition, a blue treasure chest has been placed near Horst in Port Juno. Opening the chest will enable you to claim one of the following prizes. 11 varieties of Atma, 
one lunar beside key item, 100,000 crew war. And those who have received the rewards in the previous campaign are not eligible. So that's for you newcomers. For those of you all that quit before Abyssia, come back. Pick that thing. That's not so bad. Um, if I was to pick one, I would say get the 11 varieties of Atma. I think that'll be your best bang for buck, but other people, I don't know. Get whatever you need. How's that? Alright, Mog Garden campaign. Mog Gardens will undergo the following modifications throughout the duration. Number of Shining Stars received when entering will be doubled. We already knew that. Coastal Fishing Net will provide different special items. Yeah, items may be harvested from Monster Rare. This is the same thing as it's set up here. Yes. I think it's almost like word for word. I don't know. I guess they're going to find a way to uh, make it better. I don't know. Wild Skipper Reef Campaign Plus. Yeah. Alter Ego Campaign. Alter Ego Expo Campaign High Quality. There is a little bit more here. Alter Egos will receive the following improvements for the duration of the campaign. Alter Egos maximum HP and MP increased by 50%. Alter Egos have stronger resistance to status ailments. When you take an amount of damage exceeding your remaining hit points, you will negate the damage and restore your hit points to its maximum value for one time only. Does not apply to the Iraha Alter Ego. Does not apply to techniques such as the Dark Magic Spell Death or the Doom Special Attack. I've seen this happen before, where we were doing like a high-tier mission battlefield and I should have been vanquished, but due to the strength of our spirit bond with my trust in PCs, they saved me. I don't think they sacrificed their life for yours. I think it's just basically, it's kind of like an emergency cure. I think it only happens one time, though. Incursion campaign. During the campaign, monsters and notorious monsters will only drop grand coffers when defeated. Shoot, we might have to go do some incursion then. Um, Unity Wanted Campaign. During the campaign, completing Wanted 1, Wanted 2, and Wanted 3 records of eminence objectives will yield two treasure chests of each type. Well, that's cool. So you get, like, double coffers for uh, the same amount of uh, Unity Accolades. That's not so bad. High Tier Mission Battlefield Campaign. Number of personal drops in the form. Yeah, it's this same thing as before. Higher quality items will drop more frequently on higher difficulties. Well, isn't that the way it always is? Maybe, maybe not. Want to dial campaign, spinning the want to dial, it's same as before. Combat and magic skill increase campaign. Okay, for those of y'all that haven't capped your uh, Geomancer skill yet, next week, <laughs> May 16th. Combat skills will be more likely to increase while in combat for the duration. Additionally, Magic skills will be more likely to increase when casting spells. Well, of course the combat skills will only increase when you're in combat. I would think. Uh, microcosmic Orb Campaign... Same thing? Same thing. So a lot of this was duplicated. It looks like they're going to just be boosting it from May 16th to May 29th. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just go, surprise... May 16th through May 29th is going to be the uh, login for free campaign. That's a guess. Because I haven't actually seen anything that says that yet. Well, they have been talking about, though, um, the login campaign. And I don't think I have enough points yet to get two of these. Let's go find out. I'll tap here. I'm going to turn this off. And let's go to... Um, actually, let's do a port fast stock. I haven't done that one in a little while. So, travel to another home point. Gonna do Bastok. Port Bastok. By the Monk House. Yes, please. Cheers, everyone. Fire Tongue, they say, looks neat. Could it look neater than. Probably can. <laughs> look neater than uh, Excalibur? I don't see why not. We can add it to our style up, though. So here's the greeter moogle. I'll just go over as opposed to looking down the list. Um, yeah, I only got 750 points. You're going to need like 1,000 to uh, get the two swords. 1,500 point items. I don't think there's too many this month. 
Cup of Sweet Tea, Savory Shank, and Clump of Red Pond Leaf. These are the things that you need for, like, the Notorious Monsters that drop the items for the Black Belt, comes to mind. Uh, Savory Shank, I mean, if you really don't know what to do with your points, you can purchase that, stick it in your bazaar. Because there's always people wanting to get, uh, was it King Behemoth? Yeah, King Behemoth pop item, so that maybe they'll get a defending ring. There's other ways to get it. But that might be the easier way. Thousand point items this month include patio design plan documents. Those of you that haven't been back, Square Enix has added Mog House um, a second floor that you can decorate any way you want to. With this item, you can even make it like a little outdoorsy area. It's kind of neat. Thousand points, I think, is a little high since it's in the third item, but oh well. Um, the Caliber Ring, level 1, all job, experience points bonus, plus 150%. You can also get this from, like, drops in treasure chest and, um, Estra. It's a rare drop, but, I don't know, I think a thousand points is a little too high for that. Facility Ring, basically it's the exact same thing, except it's for capacity points. I think you can also get this, not only from rare treasure chest and Estra, but also... I think it's one of the rewards in um, Ambuscade every month. I might be wrong. Alright. Frayed Sack Fecundity. I'm sure that's going to give you something that you need to upgrade something. <laughs> I don't know what, though. Uh, Frayed Sack of Plenty. Probably something real similar. Frayed Sack of Opulescence. This is all stuff I don't know. Uh, Eshta Elixir plus one, I think that's a little high for 750. Refractive Crystals are definitely high at 750 login points. It's like, these are easy to get. Apex Shell. That could be a money item. Um, Apex Shell drops from a Unity Notorious monster called Apex. It's a crab. He's not terribly difficult, but... He's, a, he's on the difficult side. Um, oh, he's more difficult than he isn't. The pop items. These shells, you can actually use as pop items for, like, think, Tier 2. Estra Zata. Or maybe it's Ruan. It's probably Zata. I don't remember, though. Um, and that's why they're still in... Well, that's why people like to uh, buy them still. And you can also use it to upgrade some of the normal quality drops that you get from Apex. There's, like, a hat, I think, that's actually pretty decent for... White mages. A uh, stick of ethereal is a stick of ethereal incense. I don't know why I had trouble saying that. Um, basically the same thing as Apex Shell. This one drops from the, uh, what do you call it? Unity NM fight in Fayin, which is against the four shadow notorious monsters. I forget. It was like something of the north, something of the wind, or something like that. I haven't fought them. Um... I hear that one's not... I mean, it, it's doable, but small parties are going to have a harder time doing it just because there's like four mobs that are just hitting on your tank at the same time, so maybe bring a tank and some beast masters that can, you know, like hold hate off the others while you burn one of them down at a time. Anyway, they dropped this. Um, use it to also upgrade some of their stuff. There's actually a nice uh, monk... Uh, Fist weapon based off the cross counters that they drop. And you can upgrade that to the plus one. But you also use these items for other uh, tier two pops. I don't know, full of mobs. But, eh. Vid. Mapir's Claw. This does the same thing. Azrael, Azrael's Eyes. Suit of Centurio XX Eyes Armor. Well, this one I know for sure used to pop tier two stuff in Eshteruan. We were doing that the weekend before last. Mufia's Beak. Tuft of Kamuhitu's Fur. Verdner's Wing. And yeah. I don't think any of these are necessarily going to give you a whole lot of gill, especially at 750 points, but they might help. Alright. That, that was a thousand point item, not 750. I'm sorry. Now we're looking at the 750 point items. Melodious Plans, Timber Case Kit, and Musicianary Kit. These three items combined will give you an Orchestrion, which basically lets you play different Monk House music. You can like, do the uh, title sequence music, you can do, say, Gustaberg. 
Um, every now and then, they also have events that reward you with um, different sheet music so that you can use it and then automatically play other songs on your orchestrion. Probably during the, what you call it, Mog Bonanza, they'll probably have some more. Alright, Freight Sack of Abundance plus one, Mortality plus one, Horror plus one, that's going to give you stuffs. I wasn't playing the game back when this stuff was important, so... I'm not saying it's not important. It might still be important. Somebody let me know if that's important. Hit the back button. 500 point items. They say items, but I think it's only one. Fire tongue. Sword. All races. Damage 1, delay 240. It's probably going to be a costume item. Let's see. Two of them. To Normally, when they have these things, you need two of them. And then you go to a little synergy furnace to craft a thing together. And then, voila! You have a plus one high quality version. And it'll probably have something like a unique weapon skill. Maybe it breathes fire. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, 300 point items. The important one is in this group here. Uh, not the crab. I mean, the crab's cool, especially if you're on a Galka character. Get the crab. It's best mount. But this one right here, this is one everyone's always asking about, is when is the next Cypher of Shantoto's Alter Ego 2 going to be available? And the answer is right now. Log in. You'll have 500 login points first time you log in. If you do nothing else this month in FF11, log into your character. If you don't have Shantoto 2, I think I already, like, shared a link on this on uh, Twitter. For those of you that know me know I never do anything on Twitter. Um, she's, well, she's not game-breaking, but she certainly does make the quality of life a little bit easier. Freight Pouch of Birth, I think that is from... Walk of Echoes, that's right. These things... Prey Pouch of Birth, Advancement, Glory, Decay, Ruin. All that stuff, I think, is used for the other stuff. Wait, so I can get Shantoto 2 because I used all my points. I can't get Shantoto 2 because I used all my points a while ago. That's right! You're going to have to wait till you get 300 more points to... Uh... It's okay, because I think every day that you log into the game, you get 100 points. So you just have to log into the game three more days, then you can go get Shantoto number 2. It's okay. Just gotta be patient. Um, this stuff will give you coins and other items necessary to learn weapon skills. Um, stuff like Shant Sing or Rujo Storm, or... That's all I remember. Those are the only two I ever see used. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of other really good weapon skills out there. Maybe best in game, even. 100 point items, these tend not to be all that awesome, but if you don't have the Sybil's Alter Ego, you can get that, or Karuha, Baruha, Aruhat. I like Aruhat, she's a decent samurai. Uka, get Uka. 100 points, that's a steal. She's awesome. Kuyin, not as good as Uka, but who is? Uh, Benzio, that's the big giant tree thingy. He's not a tree. Oh, what is he? I don't know. He's a, thing. He's a grass. He's a walking plant. Type mouth. Lots of teeth. I don't remember his name here. Later. Rue God to Jean. He's a paladin. He uses a great sword. And some people like him. I don't. But some people do. Gubu! Thank you, Lanos. A Benzio's a Gubu. I can't remember that. Lay's Alter Ego. This is for Lei Langavo. She's from uh, Audelin. I think she's a bunk. I think. Mayakov. Mayakov's another good one. He's a dancer. Um, he also has a weapon skill where he will jump on the top of the head of a bad guy. You get him and Shento to two in the same party, there's a possibility they'll both jump on the head of the bad guy at the same time. It's not likely to happen, but... <laughs> be fun. Yeah, I would expect uh, Shantoto to go, oh ho 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 ho, Mayakov to go tee hee hee hee, but I don't think he does that. Make it happen, Squid Mix. Brigid. Brigid. Or that lady. Uh, this is more of a Geomancer style person. <laughs> Trust in BC. She doesn't do combat, 
She just hangs around and gives you a buff. I don't know what the buff is, because I never use her. Mildarion's Ultra Ego. I've heard good things about her. I haven't witnessed it myself. That's why I rarely use her. But, uh... Eh. Rongaloots. I like the idea of having this guy in my party. But I usually don't like this guy in my party. He's okay. He, uh... Uses the word maggots maybe one too many times. Robo Lockbell is a good one. I use him very frequently. It's difficult for him to run out of MP. Easy for him to run out of hit points, but not so much MP. Ulagor. He has a stun. He has some funny moves. But I use him less and less now. Also a mage. But he's a melee mage. So he's going to run into combat range. Theodore. Theodore's alright. Um, that's the vampire, right? Yeah, I think that's the vampire. Theodore's okay. Uh, don't cast cure on him, though. You don't like that. Darkoon. Handy for a second magic burst. Uh, I can see that. Darkoon's alter ego. That's the kitty cat. Get the kitty cat. In fact, now that I think about it, I should put Darkoon into my Beastmaster macro, so that, uh, when I'm using, uh, whatchacallit, Randy, I can, uh, have Darkoon at the same time. That would be fun, now that I think about it. Alright, this is the earlier 100 point stuff. Mog Coupon S1, this will give you Simulacrum segments, but only the Tier 1 stuff, so don't waste your points. Um... If you get any of these, I would say get the Eudamian Sash. You can go to like uh, that one place. I don't remember the name of it right now. Oh, darn it. It's not Assault. But it's kind of like Assault, but not really. Incursion? No. Eh, I'll remember later. Um, basically, you get those Simulacrum segments. You combine them together, and then you can get the... Uh, one of these Eudamian items to make it an advanced version. And then you can use that to get like a higher tier battlefield. And then dependent upon which one of these, it will change the stuff that drops. And I think it'll also change the mob that shows up to assist you. Skirmish! Thank you, Lanos. Anyway, I like the Sash because it gives you more um, pet job style orbs and stuff that drops. And also gets you Kirin, and Kirin sometimes makes for an easy win. Sometimes. Shield, Drill Calamari, and Dwarf Pugle. They're used in a couple quests, but these are also used in fishing up the uh, fish needed for um, that one fishing rod. Starts with the U. Not the Lu Shangs. You know, that one that I don't have. Not to work. Oh, the Astral Cube! Okay, so there is a sit chair, which is this big green couch that you can sit on. And if you want to do sit on that couch, basically you have to use an astral cube. That's actually a pretty good price for 100 gil if you like to sit on other people's couches. Basically it will make it look like you're sitting on an invisible block. Which I guess is what it is, but it comes in handy. Um, yeah, Far Easter. Ooh. Use this on your first floor. If you use it on the second floor, it's going to break the, uh... Well, no, don't use it in your... What you call it? Second floor mog patio. Because it's got an open sky, but... There's, like, stuff hanging from the ceiling with this. Far Eastern Herb. So it's really big, too, but... It's kind of neat. Especially for 100 points. You can, like, purchase it, put it in your mog house, go, Wow! This is big! Especially if your mog house is empty. This will make it feel less empty. Uh, like a podium mask. I'm assuming you have to get two of these and you can merge them together into something better. Uh, Corrigan mask. This one you only have to just get one, but it'll give you an enchant. Probably make you look like a little dark mandy. Uh, Corrigan suit. And also... Yeah. There's Lanos. There's the, uh, green chair I was talking about, and you can, like, Sit over there. Thank you, Lannis. Um, Dispense Corrigan. I don't know what that is. It might be a firework, might be a food item. I think I probably have that one somewhere. Just Cypher of Zeeds. Ultra Eagle. This is Zed 1, not Z 2. You get Z 2 from uh, 
perhaps Seeds of Vanity Oil. Z1's okay. Some people use him. I think most people say to use Z2. Lion's Alter Ego. Her completionist, go for that one. I don't like using her too much because it doesn't really seem like she does that great damage, but her AoE is, um... Yeah. <laughs> Naja, okay, so... Okay. A scroll inscribed, this is going to give you the Mithra Naja Salahim. Also a monk, but she uses a club. And she also charges you for her services, that's not true. Zed1 has Freeze Bright. Oh! Because, um, you use that in Abyssia to, like, proc some dudes. Let go. Alter Ego. Is this the one from... I think it is. I want to say this is, like, the Beastmaster Mithra with the Guttler. Um, hangs out in the past. Wings of the Goddess. I might be wrong. It might be a completely different Mithra I'm thinking of. But I think it's that one. Uh, Lose off. Lose off is the pirate that I thought was a girl for like the longest time. I'm sure I wasn't the only one. I'm all like, it's either a really effeminate man, or or it's just some elven chicken pants. All the it wasn't until I actually got to do the uh, storyline that I was able to see what he looked like from behind. And go, yeah, that's a male Elvon. You can just tell from behind sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, Najalith. This is for Hume named Najalith Valera. I want to say this is a ranger. I want to say it's the one of the Serpent Generals, which is also one of the ones I don't use. Or it could also be maybe a ranger from Out of the Limb, but, you know, this is all for Trust Magic. Domina! Shantoto, not Shantoto 2. Don't get these confused because you can't have them both out at the same time. There's like a regular Shantoto that you get for basically doing everything in the game there is. Leko is the male Mithra. Oh! Okay. Who's the one that I was thinking of? The one with the Guttler. Yeah. They had male Mithras in this game once, not just in 14. I mean, you can get the regular Shantoto after doing, like, a ton of quests. Uh, Domino Shantoto, which is, like, Shantoto from another realm. And then there's Shantoto 2, which, you know, is so much better. So, that's not Shantoto 2.0, no. No, Domino Shantoto is Shantoto from some other place, but not Shantoto 2. This one, I think she uses a scythe, and she runs out of MP. And when she runs out of MP, she just starts mealing the whole time. But, yeah. Dang it! It's okay, hey. And happy Wednesday. <laughs> and we're going back. All that's left are the 10 point items now. And I don't think these change from month to month. Beastman Seals, if you like doing uh, Kraken Club fights. This is your bread and butter right there. Kindred Seal, Kindred Crest, High Kindred Crest, Sacred Kindred Crest. Actually, it's a really good price for Sacred Kindred Crest, isn't it? Cordial Invite, that'll take you into some type of a uh, battlefield any gully bag item yes it hasn't started yet i think it's going to start later tonight but you'll be able to purchase that one from i believe the mog garden i think pretty sure martial ball invite training grounds invite. these are all stuff for like battlefield type things um i don't know if they're level capped i i haven't even done with them to be honest Flask of Pest Repellent. To ward off insect attacks, it's potent. Aroma suppresses the pest hostile instincts. I don't remember that one. 880 something. Yeah. They're expensive. I think it's like 10,000 gil each. Maybe more. Could be more. I never bought any. I always wanted to do it the hard way. Athena Orb. Crack Nut. I think this is all for um, different battlefields, but yeah. Seasoning stone, pungent powder. Seasoning stones. That's for um. What is that for? Is that for the level ninety-five limit break? To like make that item that freezes the taru taru place. But yeah, limit ninety-nine. That's it. And the pinch of pungent powder. No, this one's not rare yet, so it might be sellable. But yeah, the last limit break. Alright, 
So that's it for the login points. If I was to say anything to get, had to have, it's got to be the 300 point um, Cypher Shantocho's Ultra Ego number two. Get that one. Um, yeah. And then get the sword times two. Make it into a flame tongue plus one. Let's actually see what it looks like. That's all I can really do is see what it looks like, but go to equipment, go here, go to inventory, fire tongue. Alright. The shield's in the way, but I'll take the shield off. See you later, ages. Okay, well, it's different. I don't know what the plus one will do yet. We'll have to figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so that should be it for the login points. Now we can actually get to the version update notes, which, uh... Oh, we saved that for last because there's really not that much to it. Um, bum, bum, bum. First thing... Actually, we'll just go ahead and go over all of them real quick, and then we'll go into more in-depth detail. All right, the event related, blah, 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 blah. The Escuchion questline has undergone the following uh, just additions. Um, Rebirth of Swords says the plus one add in change fire, enchant fire. Okay, that could be cool at, um, especially at level one. But fire strikes are always neat too. Okay, so the Skushions, those are for you crafters out there. Um, basically, it's a shield that you use, and I think it gives you basically, like, plus crafting. I... I'd like to say I'm a crafter, but I'm really not. Um, <laughs> I have not been keeping up with this. I am still way back on the first quest still. I think this is, like, the third, possibly fourth, but I think this is just the third quest adjustment that they've made to this. Um, basically, they're just going to improve it, I'm going to guess. Uh, players must complete the Wreckage of Eminence objective first step forward in order to accept the quest. In the course of proceeding with the quest, players will no longer be able to purchase gold screws and camphor, and will instead be able to purchase platinum screws and sequoia materials. Players must trade one of the following items to Mook Chorosap and Port Geno in order to receive the quest. Okay, these are all the different, um, they call them Scutums. The Chef Scutum would be the one that I would have if I completed it. And, yeah, they give you some screw, you try and do a craft and get a better shield. <laughs> Somebody that's, uh, a better crafter than me should, uh, be to explain it. I just need to sit down one day and just do it all. All right, new alter ego has been added. This is the uh, Taru Taru flying around the world person. Um, yeah, <laughs> I haven't heard good things about him yet. Archangel Taru Taru, that's his name. Uh, new records of Eminence objectives have been added. A couple have been added. Basically, the one to get him. Modifications to how Mug Garden peacefulness levels are displayed have been adjusted. All right. Battle related, Ambuscade has undergone the following additions and adjustments. You have new foes present in normal and intense Ambuscade. Um, you got a whale for the uh, regular one, and I believe you have Antikins for the uh, intense. It's already been said that uh, the intense is easier than uh, the regular, but we shall see. I really hate being silenced. Omen has undergone the following adjustment. Weapon skills used by Alter Egos now count for certain objectives. Yay. Because there's objectives like, use this weapon skill 15 times. And then you have like a bunch of trust NPCs and you're all using weapon skills, but it's just not doing anything. All right, Puppet Master. Automatons can now use the following spells. Distract, Distract 2, Frazzle, and Frazzle 2. I, mean, I guess that's only for the mage heads, probably. Automatons are less likely to prioritize casting the black magic spell Asper when their remaining MP is 25% or higher. That sounds cool. 
they will continue to cast Asper at the same pre-update frequency when below 25% MP. Hopefully they're casting on somebody that actually has some MP they can take. Yeah, probably not. The scope of which the Songs Plus attribute affects the song Pining Nocturne has been expanded. In addition to the existing Magic Accuracy Plus and Effect Duration Plus attribute, Songs Plus will now boost the enemy Magic Accuracy minus and enemy casting time increase attributes. Yay! Very Easy Intense is easier than normal version 2. They offer the same reward amount, but Intense gets much harder as the difficulty rises. I can believe that. And Jer Bears, happy Wednesday. Thank you for that. A new gift, Superior 3, has been added. Read on for information about this new gift. See, when I clicked on this link earlier, it took me to a blank page. Actually, when I clicked on it earlier, it took me to uh, something in Japanese. Just open it in a new window, and it's still a blank page. All right. Basically, there's a whole bunch of crafting stuff out there. And it says it's really good. All right, item-related. New equipment requiring a Superior 3 gift has been added. This equipment may be traded or auctioned off. New items have been added. New synthesis recipes have been added. Some of the recipes require key items obtained in the course of the Escuchion questline. Oh. All right, a new synergy recipe has been added. The fire tongue plus one. You need two fire tongues. Uh, Como, or is it Chomo Jinjal in Winter's Water? Now sells the following items. Holy Basil for 9,000 gil. Coriander for 8,000 gil. And no poles. Or is it no pails? I really don't know in Texan. Uh, also 9,000 gil. And some change. The following furnishing no longer have the rare attributes and can be sold to NPCs. The Freshwater Aquarium and the Saltwater Aquarium. I would only think if you wanted to sell this... Say you got it from the uh, gobby bag. And he's like, what am I going to do with this? I can't even sell it. Well, maybe that's something you can do with it. But Actually, if they don't have the rare attribute... Now that means you can have multiples of them, right? I'm going to make a character. And all... All their mock house will be will just be aquariums. Oh, that would be awesome. All right, the following items may now be stored with the Porter Moogle, the Flame Tongue, and the Flame Tongue Plus One. That's on store sub 22. They also have this stuff called the... I don't know if that's a miskey, H-A-P-Y, the Happy Staff. How would you pronounce that with just one P? And the Crustacean Shirt. I know the Crustacean Shirt, they've already mentioned. It's coming from that event that they haven't come up with a name yet for. Something to do with crabs. And I'm going to guess the staff is used with that as well. So we don't have access to that yet. That's going to start next week. And the help text for the following items has been adjusted. Okay. Hongaku no Yumi. Mirio's crossbow plus one. Sylvan Brogu plus two. And plus one. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Uh, yeah. Yay there. Fellows may now equip the Happy Staff and Crustacean Shirt. This equipment is for cosmetic purposes only. Alright. If you want to be, like, in matching outfits. Does anybody still use their fellows? Adventuring fellows, that is? I'm sure somebody does. I don't. Maybe I should. Various issues with incorrect dialogue and help text. Oh, this is resolved issues. Uh, the issue we're in trading the Chef Scutum to Piquito Puki. Puketo in Winter's Waters would cause the screen to fade out at an incorrect time. See, I wouldn't know about that because I haven't traded to him yet. Uh, the issue wherein, under specific circumstances, traded an item to Mook Korosop, which trigger an unintended event. I think she's the one in Port Juno that starts the whole shield crest line. Sir Wedgie! Happy Wednesday. Can you get fellow to 99? I don't know. I wouldn't think so. It would be neat if you could, but I don't know. I really don't. I think with like with trust in PCs, Square Enix kind of just I'm I'm surprised that 
they're still finding things to do with the fellows, the adventuring fellows. Um, I really don't know. BG Wiki. I would check that site first and see what they say. Uh, the issue with the following quest wherein the appropriate events would not occur when equipped with plus two or plus three artifact armor. Bagua attire and Futhark armor. I don't know what those are. <laughs> the issue with the records of eminence objective, artifact reforger wherein the object would not complete when equipped with a plus two or plus three piece of artifact armor. Alright. And known issues, no issues reported for this version update. Yay! Alright, so. That's basically just going over the notes. Um, if I wanted to, I could equip my cooking shield and show you how you get points on this thing for another day. Uh, Alter Ego, let's go after him and I will show you what to do to uh, acquire him. Now, it's not one of those things that you can just do this straight out of the box. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? You have to, uh, there's a lot of prereqs. And I'm sure that someone has figured out all the prereqs that you need. Safe to say, finish Wings of the Goddess. <laughs> and you should be good with all the prereqs. Um, hoping Chris is over here, noob. So anyway, complete that. You go talk to some dude in uh, Rulud Gardens, which I'm about to show you. Where's it, Rulon? I think it's Rulud. And then talking to him will open up a new thing under your Records of Eminence. Under Other, you can get the ROE Quest 3. First one is Quayer Rage, where basically you just have to have this active. You go fight um, Archangel Golka on any difficulty. Kill him, and this completes and gives you the uh, Cypher. Then you go talk to the same dude, Zone, come back. Um, temper your arrogance, basically... This is the one for Elvon. Go fight her. Get her Cypher. You're good. Stifle your Envy is the one for the Mithra. We got her last month. It was like a long period of time between the Elven and the Mithra. Almost to the point that I think people have forgotten that it's supposed to happen. But Now we're going to go after Taru Taru. And people were actually really looking forward to the Taru Taru. Which just adds the disappointment that he's not going to be all that awesome. He's not the Shantoto 2 is what I hear. Uh, so let's um, go to Juno. We're going to do Rulud. Home point number one. That will be the closest. Yes, please. Cheers, everybody. This is just telling you which NPC you need to talk to to uh, get the record feminine's quest. Is that style locked? No, she's actually using that sword right now, isn't she? Alright. Uh, let's go here. Macros, edit equipment set. Did Leno say like some help? Nah, I think I can solo this one. It's a little bit of pain in the butt, but um, only because because it's a pain in the butt. He likes to sleep. He really, really, really does. But other than that. Pretty simple. Nope, that's the wrong shield. Aegis is what you want, and then let's go ahead and put in the. Where did Excalibur go? You remember that day when you're like, where did I put my uh... relic? What? There it is. Dental needs glasses. That's all I'm gonna say. These are not the NPCs we're looking for. I can click this door. This is the dude right here. And the funky Beastmaster attire. Is he wearing glasses? That was a little too close. He's wearing glasses. I did not know that. And, wow. <laughs> Get really close to see that, too. <laughs> Hello again. I finished making the necessary preparations. This is the data I'm searching for this time. Out of this pocket gives it to you. Thanks again for your help. A new record of its objective. Overcome your cowardice, Taru, is now available. So you go to quest, objective list, other, 
Broken Genesis number three, and click this one. Overcome your cowardice. Emerge victorious in combat against Archangel TT by using a Phantom Gem of Cowardice on any difficulty level. Um, anybody remember which one? That didn't work. That works. Anybody remember which one point crystal you need to go to for the uh, Taru? I don't think it's four. That'd be too easy. Uh, this is one way you're going to find out, isn't it? I have some of this stuff mapped out. Maybe it's the fifth one? No, it's not the first one. The first one takes you to the Hume. And that guy still likes to blow me up sometimes. Sometimes. Just have to remember to, uh... I don't know. Use, uh, that one... Macro. I can't remember right now. Travel to another home point. <laughs> we are looking for Tulia. Ruan Gardens. I think that is the Galka. And I think that's the Elvon. That's the Mithra. Home point number two. Is that how you get the AA trust? This is how you get the Archangel trust, yes. And then home point one number one will be the uh, Hume. So let's go to home point number two. I think this is the right one. And, uh, see how we do it. I haven't lost to the Archangel Taru Taru Trust on very easy yet. I think I've lost to him on normal. I'm assuming it's a he. could be a she, because it's Taru Taru, and how can you really tell the difference these days? That wasn't supposed to be sexist, it's just, I can't tell. Even when they're in, like, little, you know, outfits. It's not like, you know, the Red Mage Taru females show a little bit of more skin like the uh, Elven Red Mages females do, but... Oh well. Uh, let's see what this one says. Archangels 2. That's all it says? Alright, let's try it. Uh, we're gonna do very easy. This is the 113 difficulty. Uh, well, let's go and watch the event. Oh, never mind. I hit to skip the event as opposed to no. Dang it. Oh well. Um, do I have a battle more trust? Here we go. I'll just use that one. I'm in magic damage taken gear minus stuff because he casts a lot of spells. And we'll see how this works out. You in the right one? Yes. Speaking of Galkas, or speaking of Archangels even, these are my two heavy hitters. I like using these guys because one's a samurai, the other's a samurai. They like to do light, especially when I do uh, Shantou Sing or Savage Blade. Uh, Shantoto likes to magic burst, whatever they do. Korumaru likes to convert and die, and Apuru likes to um, run back and forth. Let's get some buffs on, because they won't start buffing until... So it's too late. Remember, this one likes to jump around the air. Yes. That's he likes to sleep you. Then jump to another area, then start casting Meteor. Yeah. I'm gonna put some sushi on. But anyway, that's why we're doing this on a very easy difficulty. Crusade. Finds out Taco. Taco is good. I'll do a light reprisal when I get to the end of this here tunnel. I've been told, I don't know how accurate it is, but the uh, main composer for Final Fantasy XI, Mr. I want to say Mizato, but sorry. Um, this is his personal favorite music from all of Final Fantasy XI. It's not one of mine, but... <laughs> There's a little itty bitty Taru. Alright, go ahead and just get a flash spell. 
run in there. He's going to do Thumbdaga 3. And I'm going to run away. Iroha still took some of the damage, but not too bad. I don't even think I can do anything like Shield Bash to uh, stop him. I'm get another one here. Alright, and then just run that ways. Basically, you don't want to wait to weapon skill him until after he teleports. Otherwise, you run the risk of uh, missing. Mine is wrecking like that. That'd be a good one. There's just so many battle BGMs that, I'll be honest, I haven't, uh, I can't even tell them all apart anymore. Zone music, on the other hand, I mean, that's a little bit easier because I have these different zones. But, uh, usually teleports by now. I, I don't know why he hasn't. Trying to lull me into a false sense of security, this one. Could you just skill chain me? Uh, I mean, he might have. He's wanting me to weapon skill. He's casting... Oh, I thought he was casting poison. Surprised he didn't do the sleep button first, but... Now I'm slept. Alright. Wake me up, dude. He's casting Meteor, isn't he? He's casting Meteor. And we all survived. Still got him flashed. Here comes another sleep, guh. And I'm awake. Magic. Cure on a Puruuru. Oh, good. She's already awake. Shield Bash. Apparently, I must have been trying a different macro. Shield Bash didn't work. Is fix free yet? Final Fantasy IX? Eleven is not free. It is still subscription based. You still have to pay the monthly fees. One dollar per character. You can have up to 16 characters on one account. And they also came out with a. Uh, extra bag space. 80 slots for 2 bucks or 160 slots for 4 bucks. This is also per month. And the mog bag. The mog bag is not free. Well, the first two mog bags are free, but... But yeah. <laughs> and that would be a win. Remember, you have to have your uh, quest active when fighting this guy so that says it right there. You have completed a Falling Records of Eminence objective. Overcome your cowardice. It's first time bonus. You receive 3,000 Sparks of Eminence for a total of 43k. Cyndaquil gains 5,000 limit point. As a special bonus for your Valkyant efforts, you have been awarded a Cypher of Archangel Taru Taru's Alter Ego. You also get a nice cluster, Scroll of Waturcha, Squared a Missing Cloth, and a copy of Rim's Tale Chapter 10. Yay. Can't wait to play again. <laughs> This would be a good month to come back. Actually, every month is a good month to come back, but this month more so. <laughs> All right, do I need to click anything? Yeah. Click this, I'm gonna use the portal. Gonna kick me outside. I'm gonna use it to walk to a home point crystal. We're gonna go back to, actually, no. We're gonna go to, let's do, hmm. Where haven't we been lately? I yeah, don't say Windurst. I'm gonna go Windurst. Place smells funny. Won't be back home until the 16th. Well, stuff starts on the 16th. <laughs> Travel to another whole point. Oh, those login points on those. Yeah! Yeah, that's gonna suck. I know. How about you give me your uh, login information? I'll log into your account for you. Get those login points. And I won't even change your password. Don't do that. Can you do a search all real quick? I can do that. Slash search. Oh, probably less than 300. 289 people, all known areas of Quetzi. Asura's probably has put a 1 in front of that. Shoot, Asura, put a 0 behind it all. 
like 3,000 players. Travel to another home point. Looking for Juno, looking for Loot Gardens. Home point number one. Yes, please. Like, serious. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to everybody else, in case I forgot to say it earlier. Are you on a private or a public server? This is... Well, I mean, it's kind of like a private server. It's really public. <laughs> this is Quetzalcoatl, one of the original servers. I think Quetzalcoatl is original. I was told Quetzalcoatl was one of the original ones, but it's been a long time. 1,489 on a server server. Happy Wednesday. Thank you, fight musician. And happy Wednesday. <laughs> The server has the largest North American population. Some would say it's also the largest den of thievery and villainy this side of a... No, that's another game. Sorry. Jamal! I didn't finish the quest, did I? You learn more about trust magic and I get further along in my research. That's what I call a win-win. I forgot to do something. Oopsie! So we're running back to the home point crystal. Try not to think of it as 100 gil lost. Actually, it's 200, isn't it, from that home point? No, I think this one's just 100. Dang it. No, life's still good. I'll run over here. And then over there. I remember back when this game, before there were even home point crystals everywhere, and you actually had to walk. Wait for airships. You could buy stuff like uh, Vanadil timepieces that would keep track of when airships are coming and going. Used to play on Phoenix back in 2004. It was my first MMO. Yes. Never could enjoy anything else quite as much. There's something special about this game. Um, looking for, let's do Bastok. Port Bastok, home point number one by the exit. There we go. My original server was. How do you ever say that? Seraph? Seraph. Seraph something something. Been on Quetzal as long as I can remember. Oh! I got whooshed. Have to wait for the thing to log back in. Tell. Whoosh. Whoosh. I accidentally took whoosh and Leno's last night into a very difficult ambuscade. And it took them like all of five seconds to realize this ain't difficult. This is very difficult. I'm like, yeah, I'm whiffing up a storm. Do you remember a pup named a lake from Mikar Samar? I don't think so. This is where I'm going to get the bad news. Like, oh, he died. Or... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I hope not. I really hope not now. So anyway, this is one of the uh, trust NPCs. They start you on the quest. You were all whiffing. Me, I had no issues. Well, Cynic was always whiffing. That's like the one thing she has the hardest time with is accuracy. And holding hate. But mostly accuracy. <laughs> this cipher appears to be the real deal, but damned if I know who it'll actually call forth. Let's give it a try. Spam, spam, spam. That was last time. There's the Taru Taru. And we're just missing the uh, little Hume guy for the middle. An apparition, you say? No, the fresh face of youth as they acquire a new alter ego. Never shall I tire of it. Time for useless Taru NPC? Probably. I don't know who I'm going to take it out on yet. We'll, we'll take, probably take it in with us to Ambuscade. <laughs> oh, see, now we just need an Archangel Healer, don't we? Yeah, let's get one of those. Is there a healing Archangel? <laughs> no. Well, does the Paladin cast any cure spells? I would think the Paladin would cast some cure spells, but yeah, Elvon. But, um, I think she's only going to cast it on herself. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Alright, so we got the Alter Ego, Records of Eminence Objective. Let me show you one of these new Records of Eminence Objectives, one that I noticed earlier. 
We're gonna do objective list. We're gonna go to. I saw one under content. Ambuscade. This one here. Where's it? That one. That's this one here. The weekly. Successfully complete any ambuscade the requisite number of times. Special reward of Jealous Seal. So. We can get this once a week. I would imagine it'll refresh once a conquest. So that's cool. Intense ambuscade is the monthly where you just do it once. You have to do. Oh, yeah, clear an intense ambuscade and it will uh, give you the seal. That's uh, ignoring the chatter for a moment, so let's go back. Uh, Prelusion 1. Finally catching an actual live stream of yours. Your videos on YouTube make me want to resubscribe after five years. Well done. <laughs> So thanks, jerk. <laughs> uh, Prelusions. Happy Wednesday and welcome back. Did you see the stats on the new crafted gear? Haven't seen them, but H. Galen was talking about them earlier. They're supposedly pretty good. So how do you get Superior 3? Let's find out. I would assume it would be one of the rewards from uh, job points. So let's go take a look at Paladin. And... Um, there's superior one, two. So you get at a hundred. Superior three, you get that at five hundred. There you go. Thanks, Ace Galleon. <laughs> oh, dang it! Enables the player to equip items marked as superior three or SU three. At least, at least Square Enix didn't make it so that nah, you get that at twenty one hundred. <laughs> but well, let's be honest. There's a a lot of us that already have all those things at 2100 now. Uh, Dent is why I started playing again after 7 to 10. Oh, wow. Thank you for that. Oh, the gear is crafted. The recipes are online. Probably BG Wiki. They'll probably make their way sometime to uh, FF11 Quopedia, but yeah. They don't seem to be insanely expensive to make. Oh. So it's not exactly starter gear, but you can get the 500 job points. All right, so what else? Um, I guess just ambuscade. Omens undergone following adjustment, weapon skill stuff. I haven't done omen forever. Maybe that's where I should take the stuff. No. Alkazam, no good to look for Inko. I don't know. I haven't gone there in a long, long time. Um. Probably not. I, I wouldn't think that site is up to date anymore, but, you know. Quit shortly after the 90 cap. Boredom at work one day led me to his YouTube bits. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of how I came back. Um, it was more... I mean, everybody that quits FF11 always gets the itch to come back, because nobody ever really quits FF11. They just take really long breaks. And those of y'all that haven't come back yet, you're just still on a break. Um, for me, it's always the music. I'll go to YouTube and I'll listen to different uh, music tracks from FF11 or I'll look, dig in through my CDs and find some of the old soundtracks. It's not updated in a long time. Spotty info, if anything, current, similar to Wiki. Most go to BG now. No, we should probably log into Alkazam and uh, update it take it over. We can make it better. Oh, let's not go down that route. Um, travel to another home point. Let's go ahead and finish this quest. Which is simply, uh, go talk to the dude. Relude Garden, so point number one, once again. Last time tonight, and then we'll go do some ambuscade. Or I suppose I could go to the auction house. Yeah, let's go to the auction house afterwards and take a look at some of these SU3 items. I'm assuming somebody's already got it listing posted on the auction house. It's a big assumption, though. Maybe not, but... Probably gonna need, like, 110 skill. Definitely the music. One of the first things I did was go back to Zatan. <laughs> nice. Nah, uh, it's... I mean, there's the music that you love, that you want to hear, but then there's also the music that you've forgotten about. And it's not until you actually go into this other zone and you hear it for the first time in years. And you're like, oh! <laughs> Can you please take a look at Lick? That's my moneymaker back in the days. Oh, sure. 
That's a fish. All right, it's you again. It seems everything went rather well. Judging by the magical aura you're giving up, I'd say we got the results I was hoping for. An alter ego combining the power of both light and darkness. Just think of what this could mean. I'm working on preparations for my next study. Please come by again later. So, it'll probably be like six months from now before they decide to finish it. I hope not. I hope maybe it'll just be next month. Don't know what they're going to use the ninja for. Is he going to be a tank? Is he going to be a DPS? Is he going to Mijin Gokure, but not die? That would be awesome. <laughs> like, that's his magic burst for uh, fusion. Boom! Not really dead. You just have to resummon him again. I just... I don't know. I was kind of hoping that um, this uh, Taru Taru Trust might, just might, that's what I'm looking for, cast Meteor, like an AoE Meteor, all the time, after it sleeps everything. FF11Noxchance.com and WikiBlueGator.com are the best FF11 resource sites. I will agree with that. I like FF11 Auction House just a little bit better, just because I like the layout, but... Blue Gator, it's a good one. BG Wiki, definitely good sites. Uh, let's go look at the fish first. It's going to be food. It's going to be fish. We're going to go look for Lick. JK. There we go, Lick. Price history. Okay, they go for about 9k each now. Quetzy, and you don't get to uh, make money that much off of fishing anymore. But, I don't know, if you still enjoy it, though. <laughs> Looking at the wiki, it looks like I started in 2003 and played till sometime in 2009 before the level cap raised from 75. Then I came back in 2016. Neat! Alright, so I'm looking for armor. Let's go and take a look at the body pieces. I would imagine the SU3, if they're on there, maybe towards the top. But, um, maybe not still loading. We're going to sort by level. All right, Ravenous Breastplate, Popfish Tunic. This is all the normal stuff. And I'll be honest, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. It's probably on the, uh, let's go look at FF11 Auction House. Which is kind of like looking at the auction house here, but actually it's nothing like that. So let's go back to the display capture. Let's go over here, open up a new window. They had an update last night, and I don't like what they did with Internet Explorer. And people are like, you still use Internet Explorer? I don't want to talk about it. F11auctionhouse.com. All right, so Omen Findings, Guild Work. Now I have this dev tracker. Ambuscade, random thoughts, picks that make you LOL. It's actually not too bad of a <laughs> thread. Um, that's it. So let's just go straight to the forum. And maybe we can figure it out from there. That little lizard jerk. <laughs> All right. Um, that's going to be... Here we go. May 2017 version update. That's what I was... Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling... Those of you with small children, I have to warn you, this site sometimes has, um, you know, on it, so I was hoping for a link, but it's probably, hey, let's go to, uh, BG Wiki, BG, BF Wiki, I might have to, no, not gonna look, alright, so, May version up, Date, history, new items, that's what I want. Alright, so. Fire Tongue, Fire Tongue plus one. Onion Sword 2. That. Adult ads, there you go. Uh, Abjala's Tomb. Armor, okay, Arxuketo. Damage taken minus 8%. That's not bad, especially for warriors and dragoons. Um, Converge damage taken to TP. Oh, really? 
All right. Um, and they also got plus one versions. I'm sure the recipes are out there. Beast and pup. So they probably get like a yeah. There you go. Pet accuracy, enmity, haste, critical hit rates, fun stuff. They. This is all just head pieces, right? Now there was a body piece earlier, wasn't there? No, these are all hats. It's a lot. Wow. All right. Here's the body pieces. Wait, nine percent damage taken on a headpiece. Eight percent. It's the plus one that gives you nine percent. Wow. Dark Knight got amazing HP buff gear. <laughs> yeah. FF11 agent. Happy Wednesday. All right. Um, this is bgwiki.com. If you go to the main page. Just off to the right, latest version update, Just click the new items. It looks like the links are not completed yet, because people are probably trying to figure out how to uh, get everything here. Um, where's the monk stuff? Here we go, Monk Sam Nin. I don't even know how you're going to pronounce that. Ken Datsuba Jimpachi. Maybe. Um, defense 128, HP plus 88, strength plus 23, dex plus 47, vitality 32, intelligence 19, mind 17, charisma 19, accuracy plus 50. And with that, ranged accuracy plus 45, evasion plus 62, magic evasion plus 101, magic defense bonus plus 6, haste plus 6, triple attack plus 4%, subtle blow plus 8, and critical hit rate plus 5. Hmm. God, I was hoping that maybe it'd just be, like, monk only. You know, start, you know, they get dark only stuff. But, uh... <laughs> Summoners, Black Mage, Red Mage, Geo, Beast Pup, Monk Summon, Bard, Onri, Ranger Corsair, White Mage Blue, and Scholar. Seems an odd pairing with the Blue Mage, but oh well. Thief Dancer Rune, Summoners... Oh, this is going into Fingers. Alright, so... A lot of crafting stuff. <laughs> and some shields. Okay, this is for the um, cooking stuff, I'm guessing, though. Yeah. Alright, general items. It's probably going to be, like, new stuff. Maybe with uh, some of the crafting. Probably some of the uh, other stuff. Should name is Araki Kempachi. And Cypher, Archangel, Tar, Tar. They, they know how to get this one. Usable item, Marine Stew Pot. A near Eastern Seafood Stew. That is a favorite of Fisherman in the Guguru. Blue. Hit points plus 90, accuracy 90. Is the Stew Pots the stuff that, like, like an AoE food buff for everybody? Accuracy 95? Maybe. Would it affect trust NPCs? Probably not. Oh well. So, that's the, uh, some of the gear. Because it's probably just not available in the, uh, Quetzalcoatl auction house yet, or I just don't know where to look for it. Hey, it's Whoosh! Slash cheer. No one trust, but yes, AOV. Alright. Could be good. So, what else are we going to do tonight? I guess Ambuscade. Um, that's why I'm on Paladin as opposed to Beastmaster, so we can actually, uh, get this going. Let's go back into full screen mode. And... Back. Tap, tap. He's already awake. Alright, so... Now you need to actually get the key item, don't you? Because I used them both last night. So we're going to go to quest. I'm going to go to objective list. I'm going to go do... Content. I'm just going primer volume 1 and volume 2. We'll do the very easy for both of them. Just because I want to see what he does. Um, I'm going to travel to another home point. So we have to kill an Antikin mob for the Primer Volume 1, and then we need to go kill a uh, fish for uh, Volume 2. So let's see what would be a good region to go to. Um, no. 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 You have to go higher zones. Farragondi, no fish. Valduinia, no fish. 
Keyfoam. Keyfoam has fish, but I don't think they're going to be a high enough level. Eshta probably has fish. Ryzenjima probably has fish. Leet Lore. Where's that one again? Oh boy, Hatter Tree. Yeah, that would work. They got crabs up there, real close to the home point crystal. Kutzotes, Quicksand Caves, and Rubbo. Quicksand Caves. I don't remember home point one or home point two. That'll get you closer to the. Uh, go to the boy Hatter Tree. Thank you. Um, that's going to be for the other dude. I don't remember the name at the moment anymore. Dang it. The Antikins. Travel to another home point. At least on the plus side, Woosh and I are not wearing the same swimsuit, because that would be embarrassing. Um, Volvos were we last night killing Beast, Elshimo Lowlands... Elshmo Lowlands will have some fish as well, but nowhere near the home point crystal. So I don't think so. Nothing. It'll have to travel out a little bit late. Well, how to true would be faster. I see you do the red eyes with the swimsuit too. <laughs> Only until I give gold smithing a try. At least on this character. Why did Dark get so much plus HP? If I had to guess, I would think it'd be for Soul Eater, but that's just a guess. Think of it as a buff. Den of Rancor, Ifrit's Cauldron. I want to say there's some fish in Den of Rancor, but I don't know if they're anywhere close to the... Actually, I don't think so. Alright, Tulia, Ruan's Garden, Shrine of Ruavatau. No. That gear set looks like it's just a weapon skill set. That might be cool. Do next page. They are preparing for the 119 crack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> bravo, fight musician. So you equip it more in instant four. You can see that. Um, on second thought, none. Movopolis. Interesting fish. Tapnazian archipelago. I don't think so. Lumoria. I mean, that's sea, but are they fish? Do they count? I don't think so. Maybe. We'll just have to test it. Um, this might be better. Mount Zalom? No, no fish there. Arapogo Isle? Maybe. It's more undead over there, though. Run far front. There's be stuff that's XP level there, but... No, Gustavert front. The um, the frogs in the Sur de Baruta front, they might give XP. I don't know if they're considered amphibians, fish, or something else. I don't know. Balduinia? No. Eastern Obuka, definitely. Razkaznar, probably not so much. Um, Kizek Battlegrounds, that will give you real close to, like, uh, sheep and bugs. Port de Hanatil, well... There'll be some fish type stuff there. Your seal wheel, don't think so. There's more plants, more more basalt fields. A couple fish. You have to go down the ramp towards the uh, ponds, but there's something there. Uh, Marjami Ravine. That might work, if, especially if it's the frogs. That might work out real well. Come here, drifts. What's that one? That's the snow place. That's more beast. Ephalia, that'll also take you real close to beast. So let's go ahead and try Marjami Ravine. One point number one. Yes, please. And if I go there and there's like 200 other people there, then pretty safe bet that uh, this will be the go-to place. Whoops. This is not the home point crystal you're thinking of. <laughs> the home point crystals here are... For the uh, Wilds Keeper Reeves, I was thinking the uh, what you call it, way stations or support stations. So, not the home workers. Okay, so that's not going to be a good one. Um, yeah, we'll go to uh, Lee Talor, Boy Hotter Tree. That's FF 11s version of Thunder. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> 
All right. So if I remember correctly, the crabs up here take a while to respawn. But um, you only need one. Let's get that flash button ready. I don't think notorious monsters will count, so you can't like pop Apex and go, "Hey, I just killed an Aquan." But not seeing it, which means somebody's already been here and had the exact same idea. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good idea. Um, but. There's a couple other places that you can go that have some Aquans. I think the drop downs should be one over here. Trying not to get unnecessary aggro. Aquarius, there you go. There's one. Can you flash it from over here? Cheater, cheater. <laughs> Well, I mean the steel shell. He walked up a wall to get to me. Yeah, let's get into some of the DPS gear real fast here. Swap me out of this. Swap me into that. Maybe get some faster swing times coming. This is what happens when a paladin doesn't have any trust in PCs. It takes you like 10 minutes to kill an incredibly easy prey with low evasion and defense. I don't know, maybe I should have done it late. Alright, so... And a Kindred Seal! Life is good! Dun dun dun! Okay, so that's your primer that you need. Those of y'all that don't know what Ambuscade is... That's a loaded question. Um, Ambuscade's basically a monthly event. That changes every month. Um, gives you gear. And stuffs. <laughs> oh, poor little bugs. They didn't stand a chance, but yeah, somebody must have gotten here just before I did. Blinking them all together and then AoE'd them down. Cause that's the fast way to do it. Um, thinking. I'm not sure which home point crystal to go to. So let's try number two first. Travel to another home point. Looking for. It would be Kutzot's one, and it looks like it was scattershot. <laughs> yeah. Quicksand Caves? Yes. Home point number one will take you. That might actually be closest. Home point number two is like. way off to the side of a whole bunch of one way drops. So let's try home point one first. Let's uh, see if we can find one that actually gives XP. Might have to go outside to find one. But yeah, quicksand caves will not work because they're too low a level. It's good to know. So we'll run outside because I know where to go outside to find XP yielding ones. Just don't remember how to get outside. These are all going to be, like, too low level, right? No, that one's incredibly easy. <laughs> but it's also not a, uh, whatchamacallit, thingamajig. I'm just going to do a map with a wide scan. And the can try areas that's all down here. Hurt traps, cyber tenders, grounds tomb. All right, let's, uh, sand lizards. Let's see if I can make my way to that guy. I don't think so. It's probably after, like, another one-way drop, but, uh, just to be sure. It'll probably be, like, too easy. But if these guys are aggroing... <laughs> such cute noises. I mean, I I'm sure it wasn't cute back in the good old days, but yeah, this is a one-way drop, isn't it? No, it's not. It's another tunnel. I'm in another map, though, now, aren't I? Because my white scan thing went away. Or... This is the... Yeah. So you drop down from the map 
from up there, you land here. Okay. Cool. So not that one. But there's an exit around the corner here. We'll just do that. I know, I'm not on movement speed gear. Go so slow. So slow. <laughs> I'm gonna make a right. Did I already outrun them all? No, they're coming. Just in case. Use my mad Gran Turismo skills here. Hug some corners. Try not to bump into other cars. It's like. I don't know if you go left or right. I'm hoping right works. Because that's the direction I went. Up here. No zone music, lots of sound of wind. So hopefully if you like the sound of wind, this would be the zone to go for. Okay, found the exit. Yay. Now you're going to need some version of a ranged attack. Western Altepic Desert? I think this will work. May need the eastern one. Let's go ahead and do, uh, there we go, the sound of silence. Who did that? Was what the name of that band? Um, Too weak, so it's not going to be this one. Not Enya, no. Um, dang it. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I want to say it's an E name. This is what, early 90s, late 80s. Probably popular only if you uh, watched MTV back then. I don't know if anybody still watches MTV nowadays. Probably. All right, so center of the map, they have this uh, little square mark. That's where I'm thinking. The first one. The first one. The first one what? Simon and Garfunkel. They did the Sound of Silence? <laughs> Where you are. The reboot was disturbed. Oh, okay. Can't exactly use the mouse cursor to show you. I'll just show you when I get there. I'm also going to check all these guys. Make sure they're easy. You can find some that check as easy prey. Where you are. Okay. Maybe I should go back? Maybe like right there, right on the edge though. Let's go back. Disturbed's version is incredible. And most of the covers that Disturb do pretty darn good. Or at least the ones they release. Maybe they have some that not so good. Alright, the Lanista is too weak. Can't hop down that way. There we go. Too weak. Too weak. More so on the left, where you have that little cave network before the hidden area. All right, one's also too weak. Probably doesn't help that I went uh, out of the area, but. Tool War Scorpions, Anisa. Twenty-five viewers hype. <laughs> Gunstar Hobo. Thank you. And what day is it? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Still too weak. And too weak. Alright. There's probably one like inside the cave. That's all like, I'm very difficult. You should fight me. Like, Dang it. That's right, I should. But I already missed that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run where I know to go. Hopefully get lost along the way. Because that's the most important thing about Final Fantasy XI. It's not where you're going. It's the journey. How to get there. Getting lost. Looking for that triple question mark at the end of a long quest. And finding that you forgot a cutscene somewhere back in town. 
and you go like, <sighs> somebody kill me. Like seriously, kill me, I need a blood board. Incredibly easy prey, all right, we got lucky. So we're gonna go stab this guy. Oops, actually we're just gonna check him a lot of times. Hope Mr. Black Mage. Don't go too far away. Booyah! And now we can warp on out of here. So that counted. It's gotta be a faster way. <laughs> no, and I guess it really doesn't have to be a faster way, but I'm sure somebody will figure it out. I just wish they had, like, Antican mobs that were high enough level that could capacity points. That would be fun. But, oh well. So now we're gonna do some ambuscade. We're gonna do very easy on both. I'll be honest, all the information that I have came from H. Galleon a little while ago. Except the uh, whale is, um, not so nice. I'm gonna try not to stand in front of the whale. Try. And I don't know how long the wait's gonna be, now that I think about it. We're gonna go ahead and do, um, like I said, very easy 109. This should be a difficulty that most players, even in the 117 Sparks gear, you should be able to tackle this, even solo, with just trust in PCs. Some jobs are gonna be better than others. Some servers, your wait time to get in is gonna be longer than others. But, um, yeah, and this is a great way of getting that starter set of gear for 119. All right, there's the fish. So let's go and get my trust in PCs out. I don't know if this one's gonna use the move Darshi Blows. If I remember correctly, that's like a one-hit kill if you're standing in front. So you kinda wanna tank this thing on the side. The whale has like ice spikes, like spell that does stun. Ah! That's gonna suck. Especially for melee heavy oriented groups. I wonder if I can be dispelled. I guess Cole Remember will try his best. Probably, Probably convert and die. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and. I mean, it's very easy. I... Now let's go ahead and do it the right way. Buff up. Don't think it happens on very easy. Oh, well, neat! Unfortunately, very easy is gonna give you the least amount of points. So, what you wanna do is keep pushing the difficulty up, ratchet it up a bit. So that even if you're doing it solo, find out, you know, your best bang for buck. Um, if you're in a group, you know, some groups you have to be job mastered only to, or they'll even invite you. I think that's going to happen on other servers a little bit more than others, but, you know. Even if we can actually defeat something on very difficult, I sometimes think you get faster points if you do it, like, on a lower difficulty. All right, so I'm just going to run up there. I'm going to flash it, and I'm going to turn it around. Move it away from my trust in PCs. Ah, he's big, isn't he? All right. Get it away from my healers. You really have to move pretty far to get it away from the healers, though. <laughs> my goodness. All right, I'm going to go ahead and change up my... Uh, Weapon skill macro. Edit macro. Paladin. Confirm. Let's do Knights of the Round. I like KOTR when I can. Haste. Actually, no. This is very easy. Let's just do it on the fastly point stuff. Alright. Point it towards me. Let's see how this works out. Galka's already taking damage. I'm going to stand in front of it, just to see if it uses that move. I think I saw a silence go. Copy. Paste. Alright. KOTR time. I'm only using that because it's very easy. Let's get another flash going. 
did something. I saw my hit points go down. This is called Jewel Capacitor. Definitely not seen. Well, it might happen at 50%. It might happen at the last 10%. What's a whale doing with lightning? These are the things that keep me up at night. Alright, looks like it's got a shock spike effect going. Magento was listening in pain. Is that going to knock me back again? And bound! Alright. So you might want to have your back up against the wall. <laughs> Otherwise, well, somehow, I was able to uh, still do damage from a distance. Let's get a flash going. Magic burst that puppy. Big ass. Sorry. Oh, that's a big fish. It's not a fish. It's a whale. Whales are mammals. Warm blooded. And I guess as far as whales go, that's probably just average size. I think it get bigger. Bum, bum, bum. Some of my favorite Pokemon have been whales. <laughs> So this is very easy, and he, he does have a lot of hit points. I was thinking this is going to be like a five-minute fight. We're going on minute six now. Real big. Real ugly. Yeah. I'll let them do their little uh, skill chain stuff. No, I got silenced. So sad. All right, let's get another flash going. There's someone on my left. It's a Pooberoo. Not the safest place for her to be, but... At least she's not standing in the fire. I'm like some people, Kuru. If I'm not mistaken, I think I'm having accuracy problems. Or maybe I'm just hitting it and... I can't tell. I mean, my TP gauge should be going up a lot faster than this. But then again, it might just be all the stuns and stuffs. So now we're going to be stuck in first-person mode because we're, like, stuck in a corner. Oh, well, not in a corner yet, but... Shantoto riding the whale on its head. <laughs> just doing everything it could to knock her off. Alright, so you gotta do this fight with both uh, Shantoto and Mayakov, just to make it entertaining. Or any other trust NPCs that might stand on people's heads. He's almost dead. Let's get a little holy spell for the kill shot, maybe. I did say maybe. There we go! Now he went and died. And trust NPCs line up for the, uh, Group photo. <laughs> Seems so proud. Alright, so running it on very easy solo will get you a measly 50 hallmarks. That's not a lot. But, like I said, you just gotta do what you gotta do. That counts as an Aquan, too. So if you go to Gorpa Masorpa, you take those 50 hallmarks, you look under rewards. Alright, you got hallmarks, which is 50. You got total hallmarks, which is basically a running total. And they'll have like different tiers of prizes that you can get. Uh, and then gallantry. You only get gallantry if you do it with another group or other players. And the amount of gallantry you get, I believe, increases with the number of players in the group. And also with the difficulty of what you're attempting. So, if you've got like six players and you're doing very difficult, unintense, you're going to get your best bang for buck calendar. Also, best bang for buck hallmarks. But, uh, yeah. So, total hallmarks. This is what I'm talking about if you don't have any 119 gear yet. The first piece of stuff you'll get is a voucher for... Oh, this would be good, actually. For the uh, feet. You'll have to do that fight like three times to have enough for this. 
And basically, you get to use this voucher for any of the um, sets, their feet slot. Um, it'll get you a 119 legging for like Paladin and Dark Knight. Uh, the Hizumaru Sunante is your Monk, Samurai, Ninja, and Beastmaster uh, feet. The old 75 version of those shoes were so awesome. Uh, in Yunga's Krakows, if I remember correctly, that's like the White Mage, Red Mage, Bard type stuff. Um, Megunda's Jambu, that's more like Thief, Beastmaster, the gloves of that set. Pretty nice, especially the weapon skill damage. Uh, and the Jokuri Pikachus, that's more like Black Mage. I want to say Geo can wear that, and maybe even Blue Mage. But uh, you want to research it before you pick it up. Anyway, so you just keep doing it. Once you get the feet, you can probably up to difficulty a little bit more. Start getting more bang for your buck. Um, when you get to 220, which would be like five of those fights, um, you get the same thing, except this one's for the hands. This is all normal quality stuff. 370 will get you the head. 620 will get you the legs. And 1050 will get you the uh, body. And then you can keep going. Um, oh, also the ring this is new as of last month it has like a set bonus if you uh basically get all the same pieces of the same set so that's neat you don't get too many free accessories but it's, I don't know, you might like it you might not and then keep going 1800 will get you the feet plus one which is just a little bit better and then abjala's metal is used for upgrading to like the plus twos hands plus one head plus one something like just keep going do this as much as you can stomach because even if you already have all the gear maybe you want to make some money so you go to your hallmarks you can buy white shells bronze pieces silver pieces 100 buying bills alexandrites not too bad um they go for like less than my check 7k on my server heavy metals would be also a good choice uh, i believe hp bailed is that available there it is pinch of high purity build that might be your best bang for buck, but you're going to want to check prices on your server, see what people are buying, what they're not. And, uh, yeah. And then the gallantry will be, uh, if you're in a party. And typically you can use these to get, like, last month's prizes. Um, or plutons. And there's the plus one tokens. Okay, this was for the other set of, uh, high quality stuff. Um, Flamma Gambiers, I believe that was for Samurai. Yeah, a weapon skill stuff, if I remember correctly. I think Warrior can use it decently too. Talia Krakows, I want to say, is the Beastmaster Summoner Puppet Master set. It gives bonuses to uh, your pets. Mumu Gamashes, that's more your Thief and Monk. I think lots of crit. It's decent accuracy too. Ayungmo Gambiras. Totally mispronounced that. Um, that's your melee mages. Uh, Blue mage probably real good for rune fencer. Okay for has some uh, decent damage uh, taken mitigation stuff on it too. And Malquis clogs. I want to say is for like geomancer black mage those jobs. So. Gallantry is harder to get for me. Other players probably not so much, but yeah. But you can also get like money items and all that other fun stuff, so that's the rewards. Let's go ahead and gear up for uh, the intense ambuscade. Actually, let's go back real quick. No ambuscade. I want to go ahead and turn on all the content stuff that I can right now. Assuming that I'll be able to beat it. There's... There's nothing written in stone that I won't. Intense Ambuscade. Clear an Intense Ambuscade on any difficulty. And it'll give you a bonus item. You can use that bonus, which will basically triple the rewards you get out of your next one. So, um, wait till you can get into a group for, uh... To help carry you through a very difficult one. And then use that item. And instead of getting some really good points, you get like three times that all at once. And, uh, if you're lucky, you might be able to find a group that'll help you with that. 
May version update, I thought there were no more updates for this game. No, they have an update every month. It's not a big update. FF11 is in maintenance mode, but, um... <laughs> Square Enix version of maintenance mode is not what other game developers' idea of maintenance mode is. It's, uh... They bring out little stuff from time to time. Usually, there's a Cactar in here, isn't there? Just running around. Okay. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with this. So, let's see how this works out for us. Probably just show up and do like 10,000 needles and kill us all. Well, uh, we might be able to survive that. Apuru will die. Koru will die. Shitoto definitely. Dentro, of all the streamers I talk with, you have the fastest latency in terms of text appearing on your stream. Probably within 4 to 6 seconds instead of the usual 10 plus. What do you do? I wish I could tell you. I, I really wish I could. But, um... I just googled a couple guides. Um... Here's probably, I don't know where the Dallas server is for um, Twitch, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's like right across the street from me. Actually, I would be surprised because that's like the Mary Kay building. I don't think they'd be there, but <laughs> we shall see. All right, um, only because this is going to be more difficult than what I last did, I want to uh, go ahead and get some full buffs on. So let's get the phalanx. I don't know if we have to actually go after the Sabo Tender. Here. Looked like he was getting closer, didn't he? Thought maybe I'd aggro him. I mean, Phoenix. Okay. That's uh. Maybe it's not my latency. Maybe your latency. <laughs> Come here, Miss Kitty. I'm standing on top of the mice, and I don't want her to do that. Sit. Very good. All right. Let's get reprisal going. I'm gonna try and pull this guy over by me. Now I'm also going to find some food, like a taco. Alright. We'll see how this works out. I won't be surprised if... Actually, no. Let's go into uh, tank here. Alright. Let's hope for the best. Expect the worst. Attack it once. Come on. There we go. Actually, I would be probably too close to Koru. Uh, let's go over here. No, that's not. I'm just running all over the place now. Alright, enough of that. Okay, I got Sabo Tender Dude on me. So let's get Sentinel up. That's odd. I'm so glad I used a uh, Sentinel. So we gotta get this guy off my trust in PCs. God, I gotta wait a few seconds too. All right, let's go and get some of this done here. Back to the round. Not doing too much to his damage, but Volk should now work. I think he's doing too much damage to me, but at the same time, I might need to kill the ads first. I don't know. Was that a hate reset? All right, let's try to get some hate back. I guess we're lucky that I'm not taking too much damage from the uh, deal, but it seems like every time that he does the, uh, what you call it, Thousand Needles, you get another ad. Is that random? Does he show up at certain points? Petrified and paralyzed. It's going to make it a little difficult. Okay, he definitely summoned that dude, but I'm starting to think we're going to need to take these ads out, otherwise we're just going to get overwhelmed. Especially with mages. Um, ability, job ability, 
Let's do um, Invincible. That should give me some hate, right? Yeah. Take this guy out. Maybe it'd be like a weapon skill that you do. Switch target to... God, I hope I don't get... Oh. So what I'm looking for. Petrified while trying to switch targets. Alright, let's get another Knights of the Round. Let's turn to... They don't have a lot of hit points. I will say that, so... Maybe definitely take out... Switch target. Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. I wonder if you could put like gravity on the Sabo Tinder. That'd be nice. Next. Flash. Have another Knights of the Round. Probably get another petrification here in a little bit. I guess some rebuffs up there. Recast the Crusade. And we'll repress the phalanx. And hopefully I won't lose hate in all this. I'll probably lose hate in all this. And a flash button tab. Alright, love these skill chains. Shantoto must be loving these skill chains too. Alright, so... We got the AoE... Petrification, it wears off. Let's get a Voke or a Flash onto him. Alright, Voke's on him. He didn't spawn a little dude, did he? Not that I can tell. Fusion's going away. Let's get this one. Alright, he just mighty strikes. Now would be a good time to Sentinel. Or if you have a Lanos Rip in your party, now would be a good time for Lanos to steal that. He has not resummoned any ads yet. Hopefully his AoE won't crit. His AoE probably will crit. Alright. This fight's already taken about 8 minutes. I'm also in tank gear versus my DPS gear, so that probably has something to do with it. Alright, let's see. Rampart might get me some quick hate back. And looks good. Get another flash on here. And hate reset. That's a go round. Alright. Someone's casting Flare 2. Oh, that'd be Iroha. Make sure he didn't have like a mage with him. Oh, he's debuffed. So Puru is out of MP. Someone's gonna convert and die. I was expecting Koru Moru to like convert, then dude uses a thousand needles and you know the lols would ensue. Seems fairly straightforward. Um, tank and spank it is not. I wonder if on the higher difficulties, if he spawns like two ads at a time, because that would suck. Uh, and the sabotender dies when he does. I wonder, would he die if he killed the sabotender? Alright, so doing that one, 
on very easy. Gets you more hallmarks. 200, in fact. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to be aiming for, like, I don't know how many. I want to get 20,000. Because I want to get that fifth um, metal to upgrade something. I haven't decided what I want to upgrade yet. Yet. Maybe one day. Um, so that's basically it. After this, you go back. You have the dailies, which is what I did earlier to get the quest. You have to do um, one of each, and they have to be experience yielding. Um, after you do those, you can start doing the uh, daily primers. Or not daily primers, just the repeatable ones. Um, the volume one has you killing... Well, let's see. Assist Abdullah in his research by vanquishing the requisite number of experience yielding Antica in non-Legion or Abyssia areas. You may only have one of these items at any time, so you have to go kill 10 of those Antikins that give XP. If you have a job that's not at 99, you could go do that on a non-99 job, and uh, that might be easier. Uh, Ambuscade Primer Volume 2, basically you have to go kill 10 fish, and they have to give XP. Can't be in Abyssia. That'd be too easy. Way too easy. And, uh, wait, did they have content for Omen? Oh, they did. They did that a while ago. This is basically killing the different bosses. Sorry about that. So anyway, that's the month of May. Um, personally, if I wasn't working on a mythic, I would be trying to get capacity points on my Beastmaster. So I want to make my Beastmaster better than what it is right now. Um, it's lacking gear. It's lacking a lot of stuff. Some of the, even the bare minimum stuff that people expect you to have don't have it yet. It's not because I don't want it. I'm just, you know, it doesn't seem to make a high priority in my day to day. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I, I do want to focus on Burt Gang because I just want to get that done and over with. It'll make so much other stuff on Paladin easier, but we'll see. Um, I don't think that the uh, fight against the what you call it? Dude. I'm sorry, the Antikin. That wasn't that hard. Not that the uh, fish fight was all that hard either, but man, he, he did have a lot of hit points. Given I'm also doing this on a mastered job, so it might be a little easier with solo with trust in PCs, but I don't know. Um, you just have to be sure to uh, take down those ads. Yeah, because hate starts going all over the place. They didn't have a whole lot of hit points, so AOE spells probably work too. Anyway, it's 11.30. I got laundry to do, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off and do that. Um, as far as these updates go, is this a good update? Let's take a look real quick here and uh, see what's going on. Make sure I didn't miss anything too. Let's see... Chain experience and chain capacity point that starts later tonight in about another, I'd say three and a half hours. Um, Alter Ego Expo. Oh, wait, there is one other thing that I wanted to go over. I'm just going to touch on it because Spring Alter Ego Extravaganza. Um, this started on May 1st and it's going all the way till the end of the month as well. These trust NPCs you can pick up. Um, they're in different spots. I think like Avjong and Neijing you get for from the uh, grounds tombs. Uh, Adelaide, I don't know where you get her from. But the important one on this list is Kogrimoru. Because he'll do refresh. And that's pretty good too. King of Hearts I don't think does refresh, but he has a red mage. Maki Chibuki. It's a tough call. And Chuchu's good. I would get her. Sakura, if you don't have all your skills capped, I'd definitely get that one. Avjung, Neijing, I mean, just pick them up if you don't know what else to do with them. Rahul's a good tank, too. He uses in light. Um, Sid, I rarely use. Mormar, I rarely use. Koltada, I use a lot. Koltada, if you have the uh, experience, bring buff. Like, say you used your uh, Trizek ring. Then he will do one of his roles as Corsair role, which will give you even more experience points. Um, once that buff wears off, it's going to uh, 
what you call it switch it up let's switch to a different role i want to say though that even if you use say a normal xp ring you'll still use the buff and you'll still get the bonus to your capacity points but i don't know if you want to necessarily do that i typically just fight long enough to uh use up the charge and then go do something else because time um adelheid i rarely use because i hate that character and once you do Wings of the Goddess, you'll know what I'm talking about. And Choo Choo, I use her quite a bit as far as tanks go. She holds hate well. Uh, Sakura, never use anymore because I got most of my skills capped. Avjong, occasionally, as a mage trust. Neijing is the tank. I don't use him too much, but might make for fun Taru Taru puppet master parties. Go <laughs> remember, I use all the time. Sid, Maki Chibuki, yeah. Out of all this, co remember first. Find out how to get them. Get them. They have a little link on uh, where to go. It's a pretty long list, and I'll be honest, it's not very well navigatable. Well, it's not easy to navigate, I guess is what I should say. Um, hopefully, though, I can notice Koru. And I can just zoom in on where it says to find them. Alt, edit, find Koru. Alright, Koru Maru. It's underneath Rahal. Alright, complete one of the trust initiation quests in either Sendori or Bastaka Winders. Trade the item Cypher Koru Maru to the relevant NBC. Cypher Koru Maru will become available through the Altum. Alter Ego Extravaganza. So, we got one, two, three, four stars. So let's type in... One, two, three, four... And then start hitting the next button until we get to the uh, stuffs. It's going to get all the stars that, uh, what you call it. Here we go. Four stars. The items needed to blah, 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 blah. Just skip, go straight here. Okay, you're going to use assault points for Avjong and Neijing. You're going to use field of valor points for Sakura. Conquest points for Tenzin, Imperial Standing for Miei, Allied Notes for Valeneral, and Jochum will be with uh, Kuror. Hmm. Didn't say anything about Kori though, did it? <laughs> Three matches. So I'm going to hit the next button, next button, next button. Oh, really? Huh. I don't remember how to use it. it. It might be easy though. I'm thinking Sparks. I don't know why I'm thinking Sparks, but uh, I'm just going to run to South Sandy real quick, check the Sparks vendor, and see if he's there. If he is, get him from that one. There's other ways to get him, too. You can get him through Records of Eminence. Completing all the tutorials will reward him, but you have to be level 99 to complete all the tutorials, so some people want him before that, and I don't blame him. Um, Korumoru and Shantoto 2, those are the two trusts to get this month if you don't have them. So let's go to Sandy, Southern Sandoria, by the exit. Yes, please. Looks like my Vista player conked out. <laughs> Poor Vista. Cheers, everyone. Right. Rolandian, or however you say her name. Probably under items. Probably like at the bottom of the list. Okay, maybe not. Skill increasing tombs. Trust! Okay, it's underneath level 99 equipment. Sid, Coltada. I get Coltada too. I forgot about him. King, that's it. Alright, so those three you get with, um. <clears throat> Sparks. Should be able to pick up some of these with conquest points. I want to spend my conquest points. Let's do. It's probably underneath items, all ranks. Didn't say trust anywhere, did it? Didn't see it. So. Durban, next page. Cypher Rahal. You can get him from a. Gate guard, Maki, and just those two. Alright. Oh, where do you get Koru? 
Bet you can Google it though. <laughs> Miss Kitty wants to be fed. She always wants to be fed. All right, so. Oh, Cortana. How to get Koru Moru Cipher? BG Wiki. Let's click that one. All right. Purchase from any field manual or grounds tombs for 300 taps. Okay. I was thinking it might be that one. But I wanted to double check just to be sure. And you can also get it from Records of Eminence. Completely tutorial. Stuff. Grounds tombs right outside. Sorry, Fields of Valor tombs right outside. Grounds tombs the ones for the uh, dungeons. Turning around. Run part music. Or as Meta like to call it, this is the song that plays when I'm lost. Because I would get lost all the time. I don't know if you get lost in Ronfar. I'm the one that always gets lost in Ronfar. These trees all look the same. Did Meta say, Korumoru, maybe with tabs? I got him earlier. There you go. Thank you, Mathemus. Hopefully I said that right. Slash L. Alright. Read a about field support and then it's probably gonna be at the very bottom there it is go remove 300 tabs sakura 300 tabs get them both save yourself the trip and that's what we do all right that's the month of may y'all be good stay safe have fun don't get caught and anyone that knows what to do with those shields let me know i'll post a link now catch you next time bye